Saturday morning at the lab, School Arcadia, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We've got Gary, Glenn, Enrique, and Tuan. We're gonna show you some stuff that we were working on in the lab this morning. Uh, several moves, so here's the first one. Gary's got me, let's move backwards a little bit. I'm inside control bottom. First thing I'm gonna do, reach over and grab his collar tight. Get typical side control with my frames. I'm gonna bump up, hip over sideways, come on the outside of his arm. Come through. From here, I'm gonna roll my hips back towards him. I'm gonna raise my elbow up and get the choke. So there's a choke there. We can also be really treacherous. Same setup, get out, and instead of cupping my arm, I make a fist here. I put it right at his tri uh, tricep, and I roll, and I try to drive my fist this way, and it puts a, just a wicked treacherous pressure on his tricep. It's like a tricep pressure. Then I start rolling the other way, raising my elbow. There. And the third, the third thing that we do, this is super treacherous. Same setup. In. As I roll around, I make a little space. I bring this knee here in. And you can see I have, similar to like the old school mirror lock, but it's an Americana. Just by twisting my hips. So I'll show that one again. Just back up it just a little bit. I get the collar, I bump, make space, roll over onto my left hip, grab like a rear naked choke. I start to spin around, get that knee in, and start twisting. You get this in there. Okay. That's from side control bottom. We can do the same move from half guard bottom. Setups are all the same. I make space. I come in. Bring the other knee in. I do it. I can also still get this choke from there. Okay. Using skill, no match against old age and treachery. Stay treacherous. Thank you.